Welcome to the video. This is the second video in our quadcopter build series three. Now in the first video we spent a little bit of time looking at the unusual flight controller and power distribution board goodness that we're going to use as part of this build and that was the Brain FPV. Now one of the things that we're not going to do in this build series is go through every step individually but I do want to take this video to show you the frame that I'm going to use also the motors and the ESCs because in the previous two series that we did quadcopter building for beginners series one and series two we went through each of those individual steps so if that's the kind of level of instruction you need i'd heartily recommend go and have a look at one of those other build series because that will take you through everything you need to know we've already built two quadcopters on the channel so if i just clear the decks and bring those in series one we actually built this thing here a traditional kind of h style copter uh, with nice OC day 20 amp speed controllers on it uh, these lovely Emacs red bottomed motors we really like these you can see it's had a little bit of um, excitement in a couple of places <laughs> it's a nice fun model to fly seriously pro f3 in the middle nice little um, turnergy hs1177 camera at the front great the next one that we built was a more modern style frame that a lot of pilots are really getting into, which is kind of the flying cross style. Uh, this is the time of the mini tower on the top. And again, this was using a seriously pro clone, uh, this time using 30 amp speed controllers, 2205, uh, 2300 kV motors. You'll be detecting a common theme here, uh, but this one is designed and built for 4S. This one is absolutely an out and out speed machine running beta flight. So I wanted to do something different for this build and that's why we've gone for a slightly different frame type. The frame type we've gone for here is kind of like an X but with some subtle differences. So it's kind of like a hybrid between those two frames that we've looked at. Now. I'll put an insert here to show you what it looks like when it's all built up. So as you can see, you kind of have that X frame, uh, but the middle piece is nowhere near as big as in the other one that we built. If we go back to the desk in pieces, you can see it's a really, really sturdy frame. This that was about four millimeters of carbon fiber. Uh, fortunately, I've just found a really sharp edge on it. So I'm gonna have to go over the edge of this with uh, a little bit of sandpaper, otherwise I'm going to end up with splinters on my fingers. That's not brilliant, but uh, I need to say a very big thank you to Banggood. That's where this frame came from. I'll put a link in the description. So if you're interested in following along with this, you can see how it all goes together. There's a plate that goes under the battery. We have the set of bits for the uh, piece at the top. We have an LED panel for the back. It doesn't look like it's WS2812 addressable LEDs. It's the kind where you set the colour in the middle of the switches, but that's still very handy. Nice battery strap and all of the standoffs. And as you probably just saw, the standoffs are beautiful. They have this knurling on them, which mean they're very easy to tighten up. The last thing that came in the kit that we won't be using is the power distribution board. Uh, Matex Systems, we have quite a bit of their stuff actually. So we also um, have uh, things like this uh, from these guys. Uh, we quite like their stuff, it seems to work reasonably well. Now this power distribution board would have been a much better choice when we built something like that uh, because it actually has the plus and minus connections for each of the motors in the sides it would have made it a much neater build. So I wish I'd have had that back when we built the other one. So I'm gonna put this in the spares bin because we're obviously going to use the Brain FPV kit to do that in this build. The other things that we have here are the motors and ESCs that we're going to use. Uh, I am going to use stuff out the spares bin. So we're gonna use these Foxtech 2300, uh, 2205, 2300 kV motors. Yep, you see, there is definitely a little bit of a theme developing here. This will work fine for what we need. And the other thing that I'm going to use here are these little BL Heli ESCs. These are also Fox Tech. Let me just pop one out and you can see it. These are really cute. A couple of reasons, really. One, uh, it, because it's a 20 amper, it's probably going to mean I'm going to be limited, unfortunately, to using 3S on this model, but that's not fine. I'm going to build this model to test this uh, brain 
set up rather than actually do uh, the racing and have enough racing quads. This has pads that you actually solder the wires to from the motor, making it really neat. I love that idea. The second thing that's really cool is it comes in a little protective housing. So what you do is you pop it in the housing, you make all your wires up, and then you snap it closed, and then that provides some mechanical protection in the event of a crash. What a lovely, lovely idea. So again, these are one-shot 125 BL Heli, the 20 Ampers, so these should work brilliantly together. So I'm gonna put all this stuff together, and when we come back, for the next video in the series, all of that hard work will be done and we can start to think about how we're actually going to put the Brain FPV systems together and take a little bit of a closer look about what's a little bit different about that F4 base flight controller. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.